The World Observatory is a unique place. It's, um, it's the place from which time and distance um, are measured. So it's the zero point for the longitude system. We're standing on the zero meridian. The observatory was founded in um, 1675 by King Charles II and it had a very practical function. Um, the idea was to try and use the stars by mapping their positions very, very accurately, to use the stars um, to allow sailors to find their longitude at sea. You'll see on top of Flamsteed House, which is the original um, 17th century part of the, the site designed by uh, Sir Christopher Wren, who was also an astronomer as well as a as a, an architect, there's a, a red time ball and um, even today you can come to the observatory and um, just before one o'clock the time ball is winched to the top of the pole and at one o'clock precisely it drops back down and this was a signal, it was, it was a signal of Greenwich Mean Time, 1pm and all of the ships down in the docks on the River Thames would be able to set their chronometers so that they knew when they set out from port they had the accurate time on board. We're standing now in the, the dome of the 28-inch telescope here at the observatory. Um, it's a 19th century instrument and it really was the Hubble Space Telescope of its day. It's one of the largest telescopes of its kind. Uh, it has a lens which is 28 inches across and that's about as big as you can make a lens. The problem with lenses is that when you get them much bigger than that the glass actually sags and it loses its precise optical shape. Larger telescopes and the kind of telescopes that we use now all use mirrors because you can support the mirror from behind and stop it from sagging and changing shape when you move the telescope. But this instrument still works and we actually use it um, throughout the winter for public observing sessions so it's a really nice piece of Victorian engineering. Here we're in one of the galleries at the observatory which focuses on time because obviously the measurement of time is the other big thing that the observatory is, is famous for. And in the case behind me you can see um, some of our rather large collection of uh, old sundials and astrolabes. Uh, astrolabes are really beautiful instruments. Um, the design goes back over a thousand years but it's kind of a, a map of the sky that you can use to work out the time using the stars. Um, it was the Arab world which um, did a lot of the work designing them, so they're a really nice example of Islamic science. I'm standing in front of the cone, um, which covers the roof of our planetarium. Um, it opened in 2007. That's the only planetarium in London, now the one at Madame Tussauds is closed. The cone itself, which covers the roof of the planetarium, um, is made of 45 tonnes of bronze, and it's a really cool sort of space-age structure, which I think really nicely complements the, um, the older telescope domes here on site. It's designed specifically for the site here at Greenwich. It's aligned with the meridian line north-south, but the slope of the cone is 51 and a half degrees, which means that if you lean against the cone on a cold winter's night and stare right up, you'll see twinkling at the top the pole star, Polaris, uh, because the cone actually slopes right up to the north pole of the sky.